Hey guys, so we're wrapping up this year and I'm basically putting out all the vlogs I've shot during the school year. Um, if you don't know who I am, my name is Tracy A. I'm a second year medical student here in Harlem, New York. I'm currently in my parents' home, uh, just trying to get all these videos out before I start my second semester of my second year of medical school. That's happening. Okay, so... Um, Life's been a little bit stressful. I've been posting here and there, but I have a lot more content. So the last vlog that you saw, I think I uploaded it yesterday, um, was August 17th. Um, I started school August 21st, um, and then I shot two vlogs, and then it became October. <laughs> I love public health. Public health is the baseline or the bottom line to all health and um our community like without public health policies without policy in general our public health would just decrease and public health is basically the health of the public the health of the community health of your surroundings so a lot of the extracurricular activities i do have to do with the community um as you'll be seeing a little bit in a couple more vlogs but um i am one of, i'm part of the leadership team for walk with the future doc so basically walk with the doc um was a mission set out by a physician um, and he said, you know what, I always tell my patients to walk, but I don't walk. So, you know what, let me walk with them. And what did he do? He started walking with them. And um, every single week, he, he first started off small. He set up a time and a place. And all of his patients would come out and walk with him. And then after a while, he realized his patients were opening up to him more. Their health was increasing. They were able to ask him more questions and know, understand their disease a little bit more. It's better than, it kind of like bypass white coat syndrome. If you don't know what white coat syndrome is, it's basically when a, uh, it's like the barrier between patient and the doctor. Because once they see a white coat, they kind of freeze up. They feel like they have to be on their best behavior. Just like those people a week before, if they have diabetes, a week before they go in to check their hemoglobin A1C, they're eating healthily. Not realizing that the hemoglobin A1C kind of like, you know, it, it determines your glucose levels for three months. So basically... He did this and he's like, you know what, let's start this over the entire nation. And he spread it within the entire nation. And many doctors started and health communities and health centers started this uh, mission. And they're like, you know what, let's do this. Um, let's set up a time with our patients and let's walk. I'm part of the, um, the leadership team for Walk with the Future Doc. We are the first school in the nation to start this up. I'm not a doctor yet, so it's not Walk with the Doc, it's Walk with the Future Doc. Uh, where we walk with our community members in Harlem. Every single week for 30 minutes, uh, we have a little health chat, walk around the community, get to know our, our, our residents and the community a little bit better. I mean, we're in the middle of Harlem, Spanish Harlem. There's no reason why I, as a black woman in this, in, that's about to be in the medical field, shouldn't know or understand the health questions or health care or just understand the, the people and the population I'm going to be treating soon. So Girl Trek, I don't know if you know what Girl Trek is. Girl Trek, you know what, let me just read their mission statement. Girl Trek is um, the largest public health nonprofit for African American women and girls in the United States um, with nearly 100,000 neighborhood walkers. Uh, Girl Trek encourages women to use walking as a practical first step to inspire healthy living, families, and communities. As women organize walking teams, they mobilize community members to support monthly advocacy efforts and lead a uh, civil rights inspired health movement. So basically, as I said in my last video, uh, black females, we our, our health is one of the worst in this country. And it's not because of us unable to take care of ourselves. It's because of things like the Sojourner Truth Syndrome. It's because of things like slavery. It's because of many, many factors and, and just being a product of our society that has been set up to, you know, knock us sister down. So basically, Girl Track has set up a movement where they push and they set up a time just like walk with future doc and they walk and they talk and they do political they do they advocate for each other and it's an amazing moment and i didn't because i did walk with future doc i didn't really i wasn't really into girl trek i didn't know what it was but girl trek reached out to our walk with the future doc uh chapter and they said hey why don't you walk with us so basically on october 6th um i walked with girl trek and i brought some of my girls with me and um from my school and it was an amazing experience on october 6th um we walked with uh girl trek and this time as i said uh girl trek does do advocacy we were walking in remembrance of uh, civil rights 
hero, Fannie Lou Hamer's 100th birthday. She's the woman that's always said, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. So it was pretty amazing. Um, we heard uh, basically a little biography about her, what she's done in the community. And then we walked um, all the way from in front of Harlem Hospital to where she did that speech where she said, I am sick and tired of being sick and tired. So... For some, this is something small. For me, it was amazing being able to talk to these women that have overcome so many different things. And they were just here to walk and enjoy and remember her because she was an amazing woman and she did so much for us. You guys may not know about her, but she has done so much for politics. She's done so much for the civil rights movement. She's done so much for me as a black female living in Harlem. And I thought it was amazing to be part of something so great and so grand. actually a Friday night and I'm so happy that my girls came out with me to come support me and support this mission and you can feel the love this is my first time meeting these women and they embraced us and it was it was an amazing experience I feel like one of those definitely goes down for the books we're gonna have our sister come and get um come in her own way yes this is our come on everybody I'm gonna let it shine this little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine. I'm gonna read just an excerpt of it uh, that she said that really made me fall in love with Fanny Lou Hamer. I was very happy. Okay, first of all, she was arrested coming from a meeting for a voter registration. So this is an excerpt of what she said in the National Republic. I was led out of that cell into another cell where they had two Negro prisoners. The state highway patrolman gave me gave the first Negro prisoner the blackjack. It was a long heavy leather, something made with something you could hold it. And it was loaded with either rocks or something metal. And they ordered me to lie down on the bed 
on my face. And I was beat by that first Negro until he was exhausted. I was beat until he was ordered by the state highway patrolman to stop. And he told the first Negro to stop and he gave the black jack to the second Negro. When the second Negro began to beat, it seemed like it was more than I could bear. I began to work my feet and the state highway patrolman ordered that first Negro, that Negro that had beaten me to sit on my feet when I was kicking them. My dress worked up real high and I was smooth. I smoothed my clothes down and one of the city policemen walked over and pulled my dress as high as he could. I was trying to shield the lips. I was trying to, to shield as many lips from my left side as I was well could because I had phone numbers when I was six or eight years old. To our queen. Yeah. Thank you for the time. Ooh. Thank you for the care. I love you. Thank you. isn't a typical Friday night but this is basically a typical night for my friends and I as black women in our school I feel like we are super super embedded into the community um, you'll see in a couple more vlogs that we do a lot for our community and I feel like that is where it's at there's no reason why I should be a doctor and I should forget that those that don't think that they can become doctors their health they're it's deteriorating and it's amazing like I still I've only been treated by one black doctor Ever in my entire, and I'm a six, and I'm always in the hospital. Well, not golf up it, but you know what I'm saying. So, it says a lot. It says a lot. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little vlog. Like, comment, and subscribe. I uh, leave the links down to Walk with the Doc and Girl Track down below. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you would be ever interested in starting a Girl Track army by you, it's important. Um, yeah. See you in the next vlog. Ciao, guys. Mine. I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine